Welcome back to my latest fighter video. This video we are jumping forward a bit in time and we are adding another heavyweight before I go to some of the divisions and this heavyweight we are adding, I think this is heavyweight number 38 if I'm not mistaken so I think a few more heavyweights and I'll leave heavyweight for now and focus on other divisions. But on this video we are looking at the career, 20 fights at a time of two-time heavyweight champion, terrible Tim Witherspoon. So we shall see how Tim Witherspoon's career matches up to the other fighters on the playlist. So Tim Witherspoon in his first 20 pro fight scores 18 wins two losses no draws with 12 KOs now Witherspoon does start out fairly quick in his career okay um, he fights and beats former top 10 and top 3 rated champion Alonso Ratcliffe former cruiserweight champion he then also beats um, former top 10 rated contender Ronaldo Snipes big tough guy and then he fights Larry Holmes in a great heavyweight battle and really he really performs so well um, as Holmes in a world of trouble in that fight the top 10 top 3 rated ring champion Hall of Famer but Tim Witherspoon loses um, a controversial decision. He then does beat former top 10 rated heavyweight James Tillis before also beating top 10 and top 3 rated champion Greg Page before losing his last fight on this slide to former top 10 and top 3 rated champion Pinklon Thomas. So Tim Witherspoon very active in his first 20 pro fights already fought a number of heavyweight champions there and a cruiserweight champion. His record against champions is 4 fights were 2 wins 2 loss. He's fought a Hall of Famer Larry Holmes which he has lost um, and he's already had 6 fights against top 10 rated fighters as Tim Witherspoon and has a master record so far of four wins and two losses. Witherspoon has also had four fights against top three rated fighters with a record of two wins, two losses. And he has fought a ring champion, the aforementioned Larry Holmes, um, but Tim Witherspoon has lost that fight. But that is a very good run of fights in his first 20 pro outings for Tim Witherspoon. You know, Thomas and Page and Tillis and Holmes, you know, Snipes and Ratcliffe, they are some very, very good opponents for your first 20 pro fights. So let us go on to Terrible Tim's second 20 pro fights. And Tim Witherspoon in this 20 pro fight scores 19 wins, 1 loss, no draw with 12 KOs. So Tim Witherspoon has a combined record of 37 wins, 3 losses, no draws with 24 KOs. Now Witherspoon again is active on here. He fights and beats former top 10 rated contender James Broad before also fighting and beating former top 10 and top 3 rated champion James Smith. He then fights another heavyweight champion. Okay, Witherspoon has a good resume. He fights another heavyweight champion former top 10 rated Tony Tubbs before fighting another former heavyweight champion top 10 rated Frank Bruno. Uh, he then fights another former heavyweight champion is in the man he's beaten on this slide James Smith but Witherspoon loses the rematch. Witherspoon Spoon then also fights former top 10 and top 3 rated contender Carl Williams. So Tim Witherspoon is fighting a whole number of heavyweight champions in his first 40 fights. Witherspoon now has a record of 8 fights um, against world champions with a record of 5 and 3. He's still only fought the one Hall of Famer Larry Holmes but Witherspoon has now had 12 fights against top 3 rated fighters with a record of 9 wins and 3 losses and Witherspoon has had 7 fights against top 3 rated fighters with a record of 4 wins and 3 losses. Tim Witherspoon has still only fought the one ring champion, the aforementioned Larry Holmes, and lost. So there is terrible Tim Witherspoon, um, up to fight number 40. Okay, let us jump on to his next fights and see how Witherspoon goes um, from the 40 fight to the 60 fight mark. And as we can see, Witherspoon has an indifferent slide. He goes 12 wins, 7 losses, 1 draw with 10 KOs. So terrible Tim has a record after 60 fights of 49 wins. 10 losses, 1 draw with 34 KOs. Now, Tim Witherspoon fights another former world champion, former top 10 and top 3 rated Alfred Cole. And he also fights giant Jorge Luis Gonzalez, okay, former top 10 rated contender. He then fights another former heavyweight champion, former top 10 rated champion, merciless Ray Mercer, one of the toughest heavyweights at 90s. And he then also fights and loses to good contender, former top 10 rated Andrew Galotta, um, who of course was iced by Lennox Lewis and gave Bo those difficult nights of hell. He then also fights Greg Page again, okay, the former top 10 and top 3 raid champion. But this time Greg Page beats Tim Witherspoon in this fight. So, Tim Witherspoon now has had 11 fights against champions. He's got a record of 6 wins and 5 losses. And Witherspoon has still only fought the one Hall of Famer um, at this moment. That is the aforementioned Larry Holmes. And Witherspoon has now had 17 fights against top 10 rated fighters. And Witherspoon has a record of 11 wins and 6 losses. He's now had 9 fights against top 3 rated fighters with a record of 5 wins and 4 losses. And he has still fought only the one ring champion. That is the aforementioned Larry Holmes. I've just noticed a huge spider walking up the wall. I'll have to catch him when I'm done. Keep eyes on him, as they say. So let's go on to Witherspoon's final fights. 
And Tim Witherspoon goes six wins, three losses, no draws with four KOs in his final fight. So he has a record of 56-13-1 with 38 KOs. Now, Witherspoon's last fight against a major opponent is against former top 10 rated Monty Barrett, which Tim Witherspoon loses. So Witherspoon closes out and he starts 11 fights against champions, going six wins and five losses. The one loss in the Hall of Fame fight category to the great Larry Holmes. And he ends on 18 fights against top 10 rated fighters with a record of 11 wins and seven losses. Witherspoon ends on the same as the last slide, nine fights against top three rated fighters with a record of five wins and four losses and Tim Witherspoon still um, Larry Holmes is the only ring champion that Tim Witherspoon um, actually fought. My god that spider's covering some ground so, anyway, there is the career of terrible Tim Witherspoon. Um, let us now nip onto um, Tim Witherspoon's first stat slide to see how his stats look. So, when we look at Witherspoon, Tim Witherspoon beat six individual world champions in his career, and Tim Witherspoon fought 109 rounds in his career against those world champions he faced. Now, in terms of Hall of Fame category, Tim Witherspoon never beat a Hall of Famer, and the Hall of Famer he beat was Larry Holmes, um, and thus Tim Witherspoon fought 12 rounds against Hall of Fame opposition. Now, when we look at Tim Witherspoon's title fight record, he had a title fight record of three wins and three losses from six heavyweight title fights. He scored one KO in a heavyweight title fight and made one title defence and Tim Witherspoon altogether fought 63 title fight rounds in his career. Now in the two stats at the bottom, okay, fights against rated fighters champs are Hall of Famers um, and wins against rated fighters champs are Hall of Famers. Um, terrible Tim Witherspoon ends on 18 fights um, against men who were top 10 rated champions are Hall of Famers. Where the hell is that damn spider? He's gone. Probably means he's on curtain. Where are you, buddy? Yeah, he's totally gone. That means he's probably going to drop on me. Uh, <laughs> I don't like sp I'm not keen on spiders. But when he shows up, I'll catch him. And put him out. So... There is Tim Witherspoon's stats. 11 wins against rated fighters. Champs are all famous. Let's go on to his KO stats. And Tim Witherspoon scored 38 KOs or stoppages in his career. And a large, large percentage of those, 25 in total, okay, um, Tim Witherspoon finished in three rounds or less. And Tim Witherspoon also has a lot of first-round KOs, okay, scored in 14 first-round knockouts in his career. Tim Witherspoon scored two KOs or stoppages um, against men who held world titles. Of course, losing to the only Hall of Famer he fought, he scored no KOs or stoppages overhaul of fame opponents um, and Tim Witherspoon also scored one KO in a title fight as demonstrated um, on the last slide ah god that spider's above me if it drops off it's going to drop right on my head so I'll just move a bit while I finish the video let's go on to the last slide and close the video out so I can catch that big boy okay <laughs> So, Witherspoon's title accomplishments. Tim Witherspoon, of course, was a one-weight world champion and he was a two-time world champion. The titles Tim Witherspoon held were the WBC heavyweight title and the WBA heavyweight title. So, Tim Witherspoon held two alphabet belts. So, there is Tim Witherspoon, okay? Now, I had a Jimmy Bivins yesterday. I've had a Tim Witherspoon today. Okay, so they are the heavyweights. I'm now going to add some fighters from some other divisions um, going forward. Um, the heavyweights are at 38. Um, I was thinking of Bobby Neal. You know, Valdez in there. I still may do that one in the next few days. But I'm going to upload some now from other divisions. But there's Terrible Tim. He will join my heavyweight database list. Um, I'm Boxing Librarian. I'm out for now. <laughs>